video from one of my subscribers um and their question was you know how do you know when you kind of need to uh back away from somebody or you know kind of distance yourself from somebody and um i found the perfect bible verse uh to be able to discuss that with you guys okay so the verse comes from first corinthians um 15 and it reads do not be deceived bad company ruins good morals okay so um when I first came across this uh, verse, I, you know, was trying to figure out um, how to kind of put it in words to be able to talk about it. So I kind of prayed on it a little bit. And the first thing that came to my mind was to uh, the definition or to look up the definition of the word company. And the definition, um, I found two definitions. The first one is um, means to associate with, keep company with. And then the other one reads, um, the fact or condition of being with another or others, especially in a way that provides friendship and enjoyment. Okay, so uh, the two words that stood out in those definitions were uh, friendship and enjoyment. So when um, we create friendships, and if they're the right type of friendships, then they will they will be enjoyable. I mean, you're going to have fun. You're not going to pick up any bad vibes. Also, in a friendship that's meant to be, um, you're going to prosper. And as they go up, they're going to bring you up. That's how friendships are supposed to work. Also, um, it doesn't necessarily mean just friends, because sometimes... The company you keep can be your family, and a lot of times uh, your family members can be bad company because um, in the first definition, it says to associate yourself with. So that just means anyone that you basically communicate with um, on a regular basis. And um, there are many signs of you uh, keeping bad company. And one example is, this is one that I see all the time. For example, uh, someone who is always negative, it doesn't matter what type of positive um, thing you bring to them, they're going to flip it in a way to make it be negative. You might have this idea and you're so excited and you're so happy about this idea. If they were truly your friend, they would be as excited about your ideas as you are, but... If, you know, you notice them kind of being a little salty or a little dry or not as enthusiastic about it as you, then basically they are hating and basically, uh, yeah, that's bad company. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about how um, family can be bad company. And those are some of the people sometimes we have to distance ourselves away from our family members because sometimes they hold us back from our growth. And um, an example would be, okay, so if you don't care about someone's opinion, then when they tell you to do something that's kind of out of your character, you wouldn't listen. But if you care about what that person is saying, then you're more likely to act on it, even though it's out of your character. And anyone that can um, influence you and bring you out of your character and cause you to be a person that you're not, you really shouldn't be around that person and it's best to distance yourself from that person. For example, say you got into like an altercation and where if it was just you there, you probably walk away or this random person come up to you like, girl, you need to slap her or girl, I wouldn't take that because you don't know that person and you probably never see that person again. You probably just, you know, say forget about it. But if you're a family member or someone that you're close to be like, I wouldn't take that or, you know, they kind of hype your head up a little bit, then that'll cause you to do something that you probably normally wouldn't do. And um, it could lead to, you know, consequences and that kind of goes back to the part where it says uh ruins good morals maybe reacting in that way you know it wouldn't be normally something you would do but because you're around bad company you're keeping bad company then you're doing something that's completely out of your character another example of you know bad company and this is one that i personally kind of experienced myself i don't curse 
So I've been around people, they be like, girl, you don't cuss, you don't cuss, just say this word, just say that word, just say that word. Well, if I was your friend and you respected me enough, then that wouldn't even be something that you would ask me to do. You would respect my choice of not cursing. And um, anyone that doesn't, you know what I'm saying, respect the choices that you decide to make, especially when you bettering yourself, then you definitely don't need the, those type of people around you. Also, if you find yourself in the presence of people who every time you're around them, like it's trauma, they're always constantly getting you into situations where uh, you kind of uncomfortable in, but you feel obligated to help them because they're your friend. Uh, newsflash bad company and you kind of need to distance yourself from those type of people because where certain situations may be small those people might get you into some situations where you could possibly go to jail i mean you never know how out of hand situations like that could get or those type of people can get you into um and while it's so easy to say i'm not going to talk to this person i'm not going to talk to that person again when you care for a person genuinely it's not they easy to cut them off. So my advice would be to just pray about it and ask God to, you know, fix the situation in a way where you are able to distance yourself um, and y'all not have any bad blood between y'all. Um, another example of being in bad company um, is uh, say you have a relationship, but your friend's relationship's on the rocks and um they're kind of like you know that you kind of notice that they're hating on your relationship a little bit and they're trying to like break y'all up and every time he might do something small and you don't consider it to be that deep but you tell your friend and your friend was like well girl i wouldn't say that a girl i wouldn't do this a girl i wouldn't do that but on the other hand their situation um is you know really really bad basically they're trying to bring you down to their level that's another example of keeping bad company because if they're your friend, regardless of what they're going through, they're going to always lift you up. Friends uplift. They don't tear down. That's love. So thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video.